Venus is passing across the disk of the sun. That doesn't happen very often. It happened eight years ago. Then before that, it happened 120 and a half years ago. So it didn't happen at all during the 20th century. And the next one won't happen for 105 and a half years, December of 2117. This is how we know the distance between the sun and the earth. If we didn't know the distance to the sun and the earth, we would not know the distance to the stars or the size of the galaxy or the size of the universe. We're hoping to see what everybody has seen on the, on the web pictures and, uh, and the videos that have been floating around from the, from the event from eight years ago. Uh, we'd be able to see the, uh, the surface of the sun with sunspots this time and the, um, the black dot going across the face of the sun would be Venus. And it's just small enough where you'd have to have perfect vision to be able to see it through, through a filter like this with your naked eye. Um, probably one person in a hundred or so can, could see it. Um, I'm, my eyes are too old. <laughs> you can pretty much see it right away. It's so clear. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, we'd see, I'd seen pictures of what it was going to sort of look like, so kind of knew what to expect. I wasn't expecting, like, a huge planet eclipsing the sun or something. So, like that. so it's pretty easy to see. So what we need to do is block out most of the light from the sun so that we don't go blind and we don't melt things. So the filters we have on our telescopes here block out everything but one one hundredth of one percent of the light that comes through. And they also have to block out the infrared light, what we feel as heat on our skin. Because if they let that through, even though it wouldn't be bright inside the telescope, it would get very hot. 